Hey guys, I wanted to tell you a bit more about my song One Loose Coin which is now finally available for download on my Bandcamp site so please go check it out and uh, I've been meaning to do this for quite a few years now but the proceeds will go towards a London homeless charity called The Simon Community who I used to volunteer with um, back when I was living in London some of you might also remember I organised an event in London called YouTube's Finest um, which basically got the top UK um, YouTube artists including myself, now I just put myself in it because I was the organiser, you know. Um, and it was a great night and we raised loads of money for two charities, Simon Community and Restless Beings. But because London homelessness issue has been, I don't know, it's really affected me, I'd say from a pretty young age when I started going into the more city parts of London, you know, London is so glitzy and uh, fashionable and luxurious way of living and you see that literally walking past the part of our society which is not as attractive or uh, yeah not as fun for tourists perhaps but at the same time very very real and it was such a such a strong contrast that it never really left my mind and when I was 16 I started volunteering in my uh, local town uh, for this derelict building that was going to be turned into a, a homeless shelter and I remember asking my mum, mum when the shelter's over I really want to, I really want to volunteer there and I, I want to you know stay overnight there and she you know just like any other normal mother would react to it, that 16 year old girl saying that she just said oh no it's too dangerous and you don't know what kind of people go there you know they're drug addicts, they're alcoholics. I started writing One Loose Coin then and then I finished it about five years later, I would say. It was in Old Street. Now, Old Street in London has many um, exits to the tube station. It's underground. And I would pass homeless people on each of the exits every single day. Um, and I met uh, a guy called Henry, who was Lithuanian. And he's a really intelligent guy. Uh, he just had a bad turn of events, got thrown out by his partner. I talked to him almost every day, got really cold, I just even sitting there for an hour or two hours, I'd be frozen to my very core. One night I was sitting there and so these drunk guys came up to us and they started pushing him around and they, they were shouting at us, we were both sitting on the floor, which is really intimidating. I never thought about that before, just like sitting on a street and having someone so big, it's like a huge, big, scary adult. But we're all adults. Anyway, so they're looking down at us, um, swearing and shouting, obviously um, drunk, out of their heads. And one of them raises his, his hand like this to, to hit me. And Henry like jumps in front of me and, you know, just says, please, please leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. We don't want any trouble. And I was so shocked. I couldn't even, couldn't even speak. And so they eventually went away. But Henry would tell me that sometimes, you know, the drunk people, he would be sleeping in his sleeping bag on a street somewhere and just for kicks, pardon the pun, but just for kicks they would kick the beep out of him. So bad that he would have to go to, you know, hospital, um, vomiting blood and things and I just, I just didn't get how people could be so cruel, you know, and, um, and so we think what's the best way of helping these people or rather how can we help them help themselves and I got involved with the, the Simon community in London and I, they're really welcoming to volunteers and in fact all of their staff basically, most of their staff, maybe 90 or 80 percent of them were in the past homeless themselves or have had drug problems or have had alcoholic, you know, alcoholism problems so they're a lot more in touch with the reality of things. We went on soup runs and we organised concerts and did fundraising gigs like Irish barn dancers where you know anybody who was in the community or any homeless people could come for free and have a have a great time and just put a smile on people's faces really and I was really inspired by the amazing people that work there I, I still am I kind of feel guilty actually um, not being home for Christmas at the coldest time of year to help out at shelters and things like that when I'm in this I'm in Thailand I mean the weather is just it's beautiful here and maybe that's what finally pushed me to put this uh, put this single up on sale, One Loose Coin. I really hope that um, you'll, you'll purchase it and support the cause. 
it's a pound minimum but of course if you're absolutely loaded feel free to give as much as you like um, and if you're interested in looking up the Simon Community's work, you know, they don't require any particular expertise or experience, they just need people who are flexible and have time and have a desire to just be kind to those who don't usually have much kindness. I know this, this video might spark some comments because people have different views about homelessness and I totally appreciate that, you know, but you know what I mean, it's just, it's just a very uh, controversial, controversial issue. So, all that said and done, I hope that, um, yeah, whatever you take from this, this song, or even if you decide not to buy it, I just uh, hope that it will make you think for whatever reason they're in that position. How would it feel to be them? Just at a click, just have no money, no friends, no place to sleep, no home. I couldn't even imagine just how scared I would feel sleeping on, on a street. Especially as a girl, but as whoever, old, young, whatever, you, whatever age you are. But thank you so much, so much for all your support and it really means a lot to me thank you so much for sharing my music I mean that's the quickest way to get the word out there is to post it on your Facebook or tell your friends about it and yeah I just am really really grateful for you guys I hope you will have a lovely Christmas and um, and a wonderful new year okay I um, hope all of you and your families are safe and happy okay bye Stop and think, how would you feel if this were you?